Good afternoon, my name is Mike Scanlon, City Manager for the City of Osawatomie, Kansas, and this is the Weekend Update for June 11th. First, some thank yous. Thank you to Bill Roseberry and the Public Works crew for the wonderful job they did on rehabbing the picnic tables just outside of Memorial Hall. If you haven't had a chance to see them, they're on the northeast corner. And here's a few pictures to show that work that uh, they were able to get accomplished. Again, thank you, Bill. Uh, another thank you to Bill and his crew for the grass planting and all the work that they've done on the trailhead and getting it for summer. Um, the grass is starting to grow in. Bill and his team are making sure that the trees that we've planted down there get watered. Uh, waste management is taking care of our trash and recycling. Uh, we also have a porta potty down there now in that utility building. Thank you to Triangle uh, Construction for finishing off that roof on that utility building. I was getting a little worried. We had a building for about a month, but we're missing a roof. Um, there's some scratches on it, and those are going to get replaced in the coming month, but thank you for getting that done. Much appreciated. And finally, thanks to Pat and Angie Sirens. They completed a beautiful monument sign yesterday afternoon. That would have been uh, June 10th, Thursday. Um, it's at the bottom of 12th Street. It will direct you to the uh, Flint Hills Trail Head, which is Walker Station, Mile Zero, Osawatomie, Kansas. So many thanks for all of that great work that's been done. If you recall, in the last three uh, weekend updates, I've talked about the five big goals that we have as a community, clean the community up, uh, infrastructure, uh, economic development, housing of all types, and street repair. Uh, I've talked about the cleaning the community up, street repairs, and economic development. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about housing of all types. And really what I'm going to talk about is the amount of housing that's starting to get built in our community. We went through a 10-year period where I believe the number is around five new homes were built. And in 2021, we are likely to hit 20 new homes being built in our community, not counting those that have been rehab and refurbished. Uh, many thanks to Kurt and Sheila Wright, to Mike Page, to a number of the rehabbers and builders that have come to our community. I will tell you that I have looked at plans that look to add an additional 40, 50, 60, 70 units of housing, and possibly over the next year, two years, uh, to add to the housing mix. So when we have a goal that says housing of all types, it's not just single family housing that we're looking to build. We also have plans on allowing people to build uh, mother-in-law flats or uh, accessory dwelling units to their properties. And these are smaller homes with small, smaller footprints. We're gonna hear more about that as we undertake our planning sustainable places grants and has, as we talk about interconnectivity and housing and how we can broaden the housing types that we have in our community. The last thing that I would touch on uh, on the housing side is that we are finishing our housing uh, assistance assessment tool. It's called the HAT. Uh, that feeds into our economic development plan. And there's all of us in Miami County that have a HAT in place. Um, so that sums up housing. The next thing that I would tell you, we're starting to our 2022 budget. Last night, the City Council approved a resolution to start the five-year financial forecast planning that we do every year because planning for just one year isn't what creates a sustainable and really very vital community. It's planning for five years. So it's looking at how we spend our money over five years so that we can address some of the goals that we believe are most important to our community. In addition, this coming Monday, June 14th, we will be meeting jointly with the school board and the city council, and we'll be meeting at the high school in the cafeteria. It's, I believe the first time this has occurred in Osawatomie, I'm very familiar with this, these joint meeting formats and some of the things that we can take on as a community through our public organization. So the school district, the county, the city, the Miami County Conservation District. There's a lot of us that touch the residents of Miami County every day. The school board might call them a patron, we might call them a resident, the county might call them a resident, but they're the same taxpayer. So the more that we can meet, discuss, and figure out how to leverage our dollars collectively, 
the better bang for the buck you, the resident taxpayer and patron, get. So hopefully we'll get some promising things out of that meeting next Monday. And I want to again thank you for all you do to make our community a great place to live. And I'll see you next week.